Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Art of Light and Color. My name is Leslie Onstead. Today we are actually repurposing a cradle board that I had tried to do an acrylic pour on. Didn't like it, scraped it off and wiped the board down. Now, this is actually me showing you an excerpt of a video I did a year ago. And because it's on wood, and because I'm working with resin more than I ever did a year ago, I'm going to show you what I did by taking this swipe that I did on a board a year ago and turn it into possibly a second or third, I'm going to do maybe two or three layers on this piece. So that first white I put down is actually the interference violet mixed with, uh, now you would use polypore. Uh, the bright pink is the ginger bloom in the polypore. The purple you're seeing me put down is snapdragon. The light violet the in the center is periwinkle. That's again, that's a primary element mix of the polypore. The uh, gold I just put on I think was sunburst yellow. I, I was ended up using all this leftover paint. Now that light blue I just put down is interference blue and polypore with just a couple flecks of majestic and that light 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 violet is interference blue with just a few flecks of some snapdragon and it made this pastel now the two colors I didn't spell out is that neon green in the middle is artist loft neon green and the orange is I believe spiced pumpkin again these were leftover colors I had in the cup from a pour that I had had a failed attempt on. So I, I've got my colors down, but with swipes you don't need too much paint. You never want to waste it. So any of the gaps, you just take a popsicle stick and kind of smooth in the edges. Make sure the color's all filled in, because you don't want to go after you've done your swipe and try to fill in the holes. You're better off having even paint across your board before you attempt the swipe. Another little drizzle of that neon green. That color really pops beautiful into black, by the way. And all of the colors on this layer, or this, the colorful colors I'm putting down, all have a few drops of silicone in them. The Artist Loft Black that I'm going to use for the swipe over is simply Artist Loft Black Paint for Michaels, a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium, about a teaspoon, and some water. Okay, just put down that last bit of interference violet that I had here. And now comes laying down the swipe color. This is actually, um, I've stopped using this thing, but this was actually, um, painters used that to get a straight line on the wall and it's a flexible plastic so those of you beginning to learn how to swipe you can use UPO paper which you can rewash and reuse you can use that tool that I'm using now um, I used to use the plastic wrap that was like came on some of my packaging Anything that's plastic and soft and flexible that you can rewash and use over and over and over again is, is worth it. You just want to be able to have the paint drag in there. So as you can see the silicone is working. We've got some cells popping through. I'm going to come back in just a few minutes though and show you like a 15 minute delay here in a second. So here we are 15 minutes later. We've got some cells and patterns forming. And now let's see what it looks like a week later after it's been dried. At that time I used a lot of paint so my stuff did take about a week. Now notice how that light blue and violet on top, it's just stunning what that interference did. But the black's kind of bugging me. And so this piece sat on a table for an entire year until yesterday. And then I decided I was going to touch up all the black with a little bit of mystic blue and some vivid enamel. Now I did that off camera. I sat in my chair. It took me about three to four hours. I just took a, a tiny number one round paintbrush 
and went into any of the areas that were filled with the black from that swipe all my squiggly lines and I mixed the vivid enamel and some mystic blue into a little cup took about a half ounce of paint to do the entire board now dry you know it looks a little bit better than the black but I know what our colors look like under resin So I have uh, some art resin mixed up, 50 per equal parts of part A and part B, and I'm going to do what's called a, a flood coat or a clear coat over the entire top. And um, there's lots of tools you can use, but there's nothing like the feeling of getting the whole canvas covered with your hand, knowing you've covered every angle resin is self-leveling so as long as you've caught every corner evenly it should spread out smoothly for you to dry look how those colors are popping already that doesn't look like those colors in the it, when I detail painted it the, the, the colors are coming through brilliantly of course I know we're at a distance but I will have a close-up for you Next I'm going to add some tints. That's some resin art color that are transparent in the resin. I'm trying to get some pooling and I mix them way too dark. Don't make the mistake I made. I've not used my own tints as much as you think I would uh, being the person who developed them but uh, lesson learned. I was so grateful I had that clear down because I'm going to be able to swipe that color over. I just wanted to see a little bit of color through color through color because I'm seeing maybe an underwater sea uh, uh, piece that I can add those new bling up moon rocks in and when my Posca pins get here, I ordered some, we'll do some little underwater sea uh, uh, florals. So here's where I took my Yupa paper and started swiping the tint into that clear. I'm, like I said, I am so grateful I put that clear down. One tip for beginners, if you have a clear base down, even if you're just going to lay colors on a bare canvas, it lubricates the surface so the next bit of resin you put down really moves. You just warm the resin slightly and it'll, it'll float. So right now I'm just kind of spreading that around so it doesn't look like I just have glops of color here and there. And then I'm going to heat it and while I'm heating it I'm trying to blow back some of that blue off of that pink down there. I wanted a little bit of blue over there so it would give me a violet and kind of tone down that hot rhodamine violet color. But I didn't eat it real real dark. And again, this is this is the time consuming. I'm not burning it. I'm pulling it at an angle just to move the resin. I am not cooking it. Trip to tip to beginners, don't boil the resin. It'll form a skin and then it's not going to manipulate like you want it to. You want it to just flow. last little swipe here to kind of smooth that color out. Okay, so here it is moments later after the resin of close-up. It's wet on my iPhone. Look at how that mystic blue is sparkling. You can see the little areas where the black was so tiny I just chose to leave it as it is. And other areas obviously that beautiful turquoise is just popping but the colors being hugged by the black so we're still getting great definition now this is the part that's my favorite look at that abalone shell look that you're getting that is that interference blue with just a few grains of um, let's see what we put in there majestic blue now remember this is primary elements and polypore and the same thing the interference blue mixed with a little bit of snapdragon and you get that incredible 
almost translucent abalone shell look. Can't wait to see what this looks like dry the next day. That hot pink area, it makes me think like I'm looking through some wicked underwater plants. We'll see what I can do with this. So as you can see what the Mystic Blue does, painted over the black swipe lines, and the Interference Blue was not only the clear resin, but some of the tint I pulled over. I love that opalescent sheen of the Interference Blue. It just illuminates beautifully. I'm not necessarily that happy with how the tints swiped. I haven't played with the tints that much. While we made them because we knew everybody needed them, me personally, I've not played with them and they were a little bit stronger than I remembered. I put two scoops in instead of one because I didn't think there was enough in there and I overdid it. So that's my bad, not the product's fault. And we're getting down to this is kind of what I'd considered the bottom. But look how that is just that color from the swipe, that ginger bloom primary elements mixed with the polypore swipe is still shimmering like crazy under this resin. That gives you any indication of how brilliantly the primary elements give you some incredible sparkle and dazzle. And that interference gives you that beautiful illuminating look. So let's back up here a little bit so you can kind of see the whole piece from this end. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this segment. Thanks for, for being here. Now remember to like and subscribe, it helps the video. And ring that little bell to be reminded when we come back on, will ya? You guys have a good day, and thanks. Bye-bye.